We're now shifting our focus to some news coming in from Pakistan and this is a CNN News 18 exclusive. We are now understanding the Election Commission of Pakistan has issued an election notification. The Pakistan general elections will be held next year in the month of February on the 8th of February. There's a consensus that has now been reached upon between the President and the Chief Elections Commissioner after the decision by their top court, the Supreme Court. Earlier, viewers would remember ECP had told the Supreme Court that elections will be held on the 11th of February. But now we are understanding there has been a revision of the date. A consensus, in fact, has now been reached for the elections to take place on the 8th of February come next year. Let's also now bring in our colleague Abhishek who's been tracking these developments. So earlier Abhishek we were hearing the date of 11th of February. This is after what we'd heard from the Supreme Court. Now we're understanding a consensus has been reached and a new date has been given which is the 8th of February. Any other details that you're picking up? Uh, this, this was the, the, the information that the Election Commission of Pakistan had provided to the Supreme Court uh, in Pakistan which is kind of overseeing the entire uh, preparation for the upcoming general election uh, and after that uh, it probably the discussion uh, was held and it has been decided that 8th of February will be the date. Uh, notification has now been issued so now it, it looks like more set uh, that a date uh, of 8th October will be the deciding factor in the overall months of political turmoil that Pakistan has faced and a new political government will take place which will deal uh, with the several crises that Pakistan has been saying. We have already seen many uh, political shift happening. Imran Khan is behind the bar. Uh, his uh, many of his party fellows they have a uh, big stream and they have shifted either to uh, the opposition side or some of them have formed their new parties. Nawaz Sharif has been brought back from overseas. Many of cases against him has been dropped. Uh, surprisingly, not a surprise in fact, because of the the, the deals or the uh, major understanding between the administration and the Nawaz Sharif party was already done before Nawaz Sharif's arrival in the Pakistan. Uh, state and uh, so so that the the next upcoming election which is almost about three months from now is going to be very interesting whether Imran Khan will be allowed to come out of the prison and campaign for his party uh, that remains to be seen because he is uh, behind the bar under very serious, serious charges that includes uh, you know several years of imprisonment and something that can actually uh, forbid him from fighting future elections in Pakistan as well so interesting time in Pakistan's politics uh, but the date of it for is something that people have been waiting for a very long time. Okay, Abhishek, we'll have to leave that conversation there. So we have a date as far as elections in Pakistan are concerned. It is the 8th of February next year. We'll keep tracking all these developments and a lot more. For now, we do have to slip into a very short break.